And so let's take a look at the Kerry team. Goalkeeper Brian Kelly is the undisputed number one in the kingdom of Kerry. Had no chance to save Killian O'Connor's penalty six days ago, but we want to vary his kickout strategy a little. Mark O'Shea is out, Killian Young is in, Aidan O'Mahony and Shane Enright complete the full back line. Paul Murphy from Ratmore may never have played minor for Kerry, but he's developed into a really good wing back. Peter Crowley retains the number six jersey, Fionn Fitzgerald is the team captain. Anthony Marr and David Morn are again at centre field, with Brian Sheehan held in reserve. It's a crucial area for both counties. Dingle's Michael Ganey is at right half forward, with Johnny Buckley wearing 11. The hard working Donica Walsh is on the other wing. The big news up front Kieran Donaghy starts instead of Stephen O'Brien. Paul Ganey retains the full forward jersey with Quilt Park goal scoring hero James O'Donoghue in the other corner. Goalkeeper Robbie Henley is a top class goalkeeper and couldn't in any way be faulted for Kerry's late goal last Sunday. Tom Caniff is named a corner back, which is probably his best position. Full back Jerk Hafferke could be in for a testing evening. Keith Higgins is simply a brilliant footballer. Lee Keegan's appeal to a straight red card last Sunday was surprisingly successful, so he's back in the team. Colin Boyle will wear six. Joel Vaughan is transferred from centre field to wing back. Castlebar Mitchell's Barry Moran is back in favour and has chosen as Seamus O'Shea's midfield partner. Interesting. Kevin McLaughlin continues a wing forward. Aidan O'Shea will be at centre forward, while Jason Doherty's performance and mental attitude suggest massive potential. Alan Tupper's Killian O'Connor is the main man and top scorer with 331. Other news, Captain Andy Morn is back on the starting 15 with Alan Dillon in the other corner. And that is dropping. It's still alive. It's Killian O'Connor as he brought down inside penalty. the last rectangle. That looks like a penalty to me. It is. Yes, has to be a penalty, Marty. Ball dropped inside and innocuous ball by Aidan O'Shea. Poor ball by Aidan O'Shea, but looks how it turns out. Killian O'Connor, Brian Kelly. This time it's along the surface. The result is the same. Long ball. Brilliantly got it by Aidan O'Shea. He scored a cracker against Cork. He lays it off, it's O'Connor again, and Brian Kelly is there, but it's in the net. Killian O'Connor with his second goal. Great run by Killian O'Connor, two goals in six minutes. They say goals wins games. It's certainly put May on the driving seat. Peter Crowley. To Paul Ganey. Good ball inside for James O'Donoghue. One against one with Keith Higgins. Shrugs him off. And Keith Higgins responds. And Donahue is there. Kerry are back in the match. That's another inspiration scorer. The game could take off Marty because it's been all male so far. Wonderful defending by Keith Higgins. Wonderful finish by Kieran Donahue. Aidan O'Shea. Jason Doherty, front of goals, takes his point. Two Mayo footballers have now scored. 2-3 for Killian O'Connor, one point. Jason Doherty. Great work by Killian O'Connor. He's not waiting indeed for the soft ball to come in to him. He's willing to really work hard. It comes to Aidan O'Mahony. The support play is provided by Killian Young. Going long to James O'Donoghue. He's looking to get inside Keith Higgins, turning, twisting. He needs somebody immediately outside him. Killian Young calls. Is he capable of scoring from here? It's dropping, dropping over the crossbar. Killian Young, not known for his scoring prowess in Kerry or indeed nationwide, gets a peach of a point. Killian O'Connor, he's the main threat up front. Get their signals. Mixed up, Donald Vaughan. He's going for a second point. Jason Doherty hits it with the outside of the boot, and it's over the bar. Good score. Well, did no share. Oh dear, oh dear. And Killian O'Connor had a collision, and both of them come out the worst for wear. Killian O'Connor was waiting for Aidan O'Shea to pass him by on his inside and you can see Aidan O'Shea going to the outside and that's how the clash happened, they just didn't read each other's play. 
Tom Parsons lays it off as Jason Doherty. Well won. Andy Moore. Tripped by Fionn Fitzgerald. Now, what colour is the card? Deliberate? Black or yellow? I think going on past experiences it will be a yellow one I don't think it's sending off there seems to be a reluctance to set, give players black cards he's getting the black the carry captain is off but he can be replaced <laughs> Kieran Donaghy is waiting for the long high ball James O'Donoghue takes the pass shoots and puts it between the posts for his second point of the game and his first in the second half Robbie Henley's kick out goes straight out over the sideline as you see and it's quickly taken by Michael Ganey. It's a testing ball from Mayo. Up goes Kieran Donaghy. Fantastic catch. Here's a Dunno. He's brought down. Another penalty. Has to be. Surely. Yes. Long high ball. Fantastic catch by Donny. Here comes a Dunno. Penalty. Here's James Adunno facing Robbie Henley. Goal for Kerry. Sides are level in this All-Ireland Senior Football semi-final replay. Look at the running by Mark O'Shea. 34 going on 17. Giving it back first, Peter Crowley. To Mark O'Shea. Can he score? Can he what? A man dropped at the start of this All-Ireland semi-final replay. There's no other way to say it. What about that for character? Knocked away by Big Tom Parsons, far as Keith Higgins, picked up by Seamus O'Shea. Colin Boyle is immediately to his right if he needs it. He does it. He's looking for the long ball, far as Andy Moore, who's made a great run. But he's tackled, but the result, the quick ball cannot be dropped in. Quickly taken. Lee Keegan. Killian O'Connor. Dropping it in. It's a testing ball for the goalkeeper. He takes it, but the ball is dropped. And Andy Moore gets a touch. Mayo are back in this game, it's topsy-turvy, it's back being anybody's. This should have been the keeper's ball. Kelly was under pressure, fairly it must be said, and there was just a touch. But sometimes replays don't live up to the drawn games, but so far, this is turning out to be quite a thriller. Here's Barry John Keane, laying it off first, Peter Crowley. Here comes the big high ball, one against one. Donaghy is there, he has it again. Bearing down and goal, what's he going to do? Back to James Adunno and it's over the bar. The traditionalists will love this game of football when you're Kieran Donaghy playing. Big high ball, catching it magnificently under pressure. Layoff as James Adunno, another point. Lee Keegan, Andy Moore, Patrick Kenny trying to stay with it. Still Andy Moore and he flicks it and he puts it over the bar. Uh, like you say, Marty, the pendulum is swinging one way and the other and it's the smallest little things that makes that pendulum swing. Anthony Marr outnumbered. Kevin McLaughlin. Good ball inside to Killeen O'Connor and that is over the crossbar. From 40 yards straight onto his chest, never broke stride, kicked it with his right foot. There's two tactics in this game, Marty. Donaghy, O'Connor. Keegan calls for it this side. Kevin McLaughlin is unmarked at the moment. Chance for Jason Doherty. Scored twice in the first half. Has it the legs? Has it the accuracy? It's yes on both counts. Great play by Mayo, great play by Kerry. What a game, Marty. It's a super, super game. Long, high, dropping ball. James O'Donnell is chasing after it. It's O'Donnell. He'll volley it. Now the referee is going for another penalty. It's another penalty. penalty. Unbelievable. He was held back. And Jared Cafferkey is the player. That's called aside by the referee. For the second time in the second half, we have a penalty between James O'Donoghue and Robbie Henley. Same spot, not at all. Brilliant goal. Fantastic. 
the pride of Kerry. He is the man, James O'Donoghue. Two goals and six points for O'Donoghue. Two goals and four points for Killian O'Connor. It's a penalty extravaganza. Keith Higgins. Andy Moore. Surrounded. Good layoff. It's Conroy. What's he going to do? He scores a point. But Mayo have about a minute and a half to get an equaliser and force extra time. Donald Vaughan. Michael Conroy says, leave it to me. Conroy, gone through as Donald Vaughan. He scored in the past. This is the most important kick of his career. Or fisted pass. It's over the bar. Mayo and Kerry are level again. Who could have predicted a finish like this again? It's seldom you get them two in a row. What a score. What composure from Mayo. Everything now surfacing. Effort, hunger, need, want, spirit, character. We've had it all. And it will all unfold, and more of it will unfold in the last minute. Next score surely will win this game. Level for the fourth time. Who can get the winner in the last 45 seconds or so? It's a free for Mayo. Killian O'Connor inside the 45 metre line. And Robbie Henley, goalkeeper from Brafey, going to take this. If it goes over the bar, Mayo are in the All-Ireland Football Five. This is an all or nothing, Marty. No. James Horn can barely watch. Here is Henley. It's good. Has it got the legs? Up goes Donaghy. Fists it away. Surely the referee blow a whistle. And we have extra time. Oh, my God. But you know what, Tom Carr? Both teams actually deserve it, and so do we. Because Gaelic football has been absolutely exhilarating the last two Sundays thanks to these two wonderful teams and once again Mayo go to the dressing room at the Ennis Road Kerry go to the dressing room at the City End and we have 20 more minutes of this wonderful game on the Saturday game Paul is thrown in first period of extra time is underway and away we go again Doing all the hard work, trying to get a little bit of space. As uh, Jonathan Line loses out ultimately. Jason Doherty dropping this ball in, but still pose problems for Kerry. Fisted away on this occasion. And Richie Feeney will be happy to see it out over the end line, or sideline, I should say. Richie Feeney. Good ball. Nice turn. Great score. It's that man again, Killian O'Connor. What a great ball, super ball in between three Kerry players. Delivers a nice simple pass. He's had a super game. What a part he's played all afternoon. Still Conroy. Giving a little bit of space. Ball inside to Jason Dart, who's surely being held by Aidan O'Man. He runs on to Kevin McLaughlin, and that is over the bar. It's McLaughlin's first point in this All-Ireland semi-final replay, and it puts the Connacht champions two points in front. Jonathan Lyon. Declan O'Sullivan in space. Tom Parsons, Lee Keegan in hot pursuit. Still Declan O'Sullivan, getting by several challenges. Flicks it inside to Barry John Key. Available to his right is James O'Donoghue, but Colin Boyle, his touch have been fouling. Colin Boyle is explaining to the referee exactly the challenge. And let's see if he's right. The crowd really annoyed with that. Colin Boyle really frustrated. Puts Mayo back on the back foot again. Barry John Key with his second tap over point. Kerry and Mayo are still at it at the Gaelic Crowns in Limerick. And it is now 10 past 7. The game started at 5 o'clock. Here comes Jonathan Lyon. Can he put Kerry on their way? What a great score, and Kerry are after starting in a similar fashion that Mayo did. Good ball, up for his Paul Ganey. 
Lovely skill by Ganey. Under pressure. Hits it. Fantastic point by Paul Ganey. One of the scores of the game, and we've had so many of them. And, and, and so many from him. That must be his fourth or fifth. Brian Sheehan. The clock ticks towards the 18th minute or the 8th minute of the second period of extra time. Still Declan O'Sullivan. Paris Jones in line. Stepping inside. Giving himself a chance to take a shot and put it over the bar. Jonathan Lyon has arrived with two brilliant points in the second period of extra time. 53 seconds left on the clock. Anything is possible with these two teams. Bursting forward is Alan Freeman. He's brought down. It's a free in for Mayo. It is only a goal. All Kerry have to do is keep this game stopped. Delay it, get back on the line, and if Mayo need a goal, they looked up at that stage, they didn't even have a player in, and the, uh, in the box, Marty, so they're not going to get a goal without a player in there. Getting a little bit out of control, frustration from Mayo. Tempers becoming frayed, this is ugly and indeed unnecessary, because since five o'clock this has been played in a very sporting manner. But the referee, Cormac Riley, really has to take control here, because what was simple shoving and pushing has now turned into an all-out brawl. But there's an official involved here as well. Mir Furnas is in the middle of it. This is the moment. Here comes Killian O'Connor. He's going for it. Has to be a goal. Stopped. Killian Young has it. And the ball comes out with Brian Sheehan. Right beside him is Kieran O'Leary. So too is Barry John Keane. In the middle is Paul Ganey. And there's nobody else around. Here comes Kevin King. Never took his eye off the ball. Is there one charge left for Mayo? Everybody, all 36,000 and 256 people on their feet here. Keith Higgins, ball inside towards Lee Keegan. Here's Alan Freeman. As he brought down, it surely is another free. And the referee, Cormac Riley, has blown his whistle. But there's a bit of afters going on again. Is Killian O'Connor reaching out for the ball with his foot, caught a player. And this is totally getting out of hand. I'm not excusing the behaviour of this, but you can understand the frustration having put in. Oh, a red for Killian O'Connor. It's a red card yeah. for Killian O'Connor. Yeah. He did just as he was going for the ball, he was just in frustration. Unlucky, but a deserved red card. 28 players, I can now tell you, around here. Kieran Donaghy. Comes away with it, not very far. Referee blows the ball down, Russell! And Kerry are in the All Ireland final on the 21st of September. Full time after extra time. Kerry 316, Mail 313.